What's happening guys? So today we're gonna to go through how to create customer profiles using IBM's Personality Insights service. So if you've never heard about this before, basically what you can do is pass through a block of text in any format. So it could be a text file, it could be a JSON stream, but basically a block of text, you send it up to this service and what you get back is actually a really detailed profile of that particular person. I know it seems a little bit far-fetched, but there's actually some reasonable science behind it. So what it actually brings back as well is what the customer needs are, what their personality insights or traits are. So it looks at a psychological profile called the Big Five profile. And it also brings back the customer or the, the person's values. So altogether it creates a reasonably good profile of that person, which is really interesting that it's getting that just from one single body of text which does raise some questions, but I mean, it's still pretty good. I've gone through it, I've tested it out, and it actually does create some, some really interesting insights. So without further ado, let's jump right into it and get this started. So the first thing that you need to do in order to create a person or work with the Personality Insights API is to head over to console.bluemix.net so this is the what is now known as the new IBM Cloud Platform. And from here, you can spin up a, a huge number of services. So I've gone through this before in some other videos. Uh, there's a heap of stuff that you can do. So once you're here, I want you to hit Catalog. So that's going to bring you to this page. And from here, you can sort of navigate and open up a whole bunch of different stuff. But what we're interested in is the Personality Insight Service. So we'll hit AI. And then we'll go over to here, Personality Insight. So in this first step, what we're going to do is we're going to create a service and we'll probably generate some API credentials as well and then start taking a look at, at getting set up to work with it using Python. So once you're here, so we've clicked in. This is the, the service page. So from here, you can rename your service. You can change the region that you'd like to spin up your service from. Um, you can set a resource group. So I've just got to set to default here. But basically what you'll do when you come to this page is rename the service really. So what we're going to call it is PS Demo. All right. And I'm just going to leave the region as Sydney because I'm in Sydney. And then we can scroll down and select the pricing plan that we want. So there's light, tiered or premium because we're going to be sticking under 1000 API calls per month because we're just getting started. Light's perfectly fine. So Assuming you've got to this page, just hit light and hit create. And boom, that's a service created once it finishes. Now, from here, what you wanna do is create your service credentials. So because we're gonna be working with the API using Python, we need to authenticate. And to authenticate, we just need to create some credentials and then grab the API key. So this whole service uses uh, token-based IAM authentication. So for that, we need to have an API key to work with the, the API. So we cannot do that all from here. So this is sort of your service dashboard. So once you're here, hit service credentials, new credential, and you can rename the credential. So let's just call it uh, YouTube credentials. Um, we can't put spaces. Roles fine, service fine, and we'll hit add. And that's it. You can see that we've created our credentials here. So we've got YouTube credentials, date created. What's really important are these bits of information here. So what we're actually going to need to work or what we're going to need when we want to start interacting with this service using Python is this API key here. Now, this is going to be unique every time you create these credentials, so make sure you do it and don't just try to copy these ones here because it won't work. So copy down this API key because we'll need it in a second. Now, that's sort of the first part about creating a service and setting up your credentials. What we're going to do now is quickly install the Watson Developer Cloud SDK or Python module, and that's going to let us interact using uh, Python basically. So to do that, just open up a new terminal and let's run pip install watson developer cloud. 
Now, if you've already got this installed, it's sort of just going to give you a bit of a message that says requirement already satisfied. If you don't have it installed, it's going to run through, download the packages, run through the steps to install it. So we'll hit enter and you can see we've already got it installed. So it's fine. That about wraps up video number one. So what we went through is how to create a service, how to generate our credentials and how to install Watson Developer Cloud. In the next video, we're gonna start creating our profile. So we'll grab some text, we'll pass it to the API and we'll get our profile back. If you found this video useful, be sure to like, share and subscribe. You're doing me a huge favor. Thanks, peace.